If you feel like this full moon has been extremely heavy, here is why. Welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. My name is Isabel. I help you understand who you are using astrology and I help you understand the stars in the simplest form so that you can be the creator of your reality and not the victim to the stars. I know that's usually, that's a little different than what I usually say, but that's what I feel like I've recently been talking about more. And that's what I've been told from comments on my YouTube channel, what I've helped people do the most. So that's what I'm here to do. So hit that link in the description below to get your My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie to just justify your suffering uh, from and blame it on astrology and take no personal responsibility for your life. It's so fun. So check out those hoodies in the link in the description below. And it's also available for a limited time in purple and pink. So if you like those colors, grab it now while you can because I'm not going to keep this listing up for very long and I'm going to return back to just offering it in black. So... We have a full moon occurring in the sign of Pisces on uh, August 30th at 7 degrees Pisces. This moon op opposes the sun in Virgo and is in a very emotionally charged event because it's in Pisces. It is a full moon. It is the moon, which is our emotions. And so if you've been feeling recently like, why do I just feel so heavy? Why is all this stuff coming out of my unconscious? And why does it feel almost like there's an uncomfortable amount of stillness? That is because there's a full moon in Pisces. And Pisces is the final sign of the zodiac. It represents, uh, in a way, the final cycle, death in some degree. It represents a journey to wholeness, which is also associated with the womb, ironically, uh, even though it's the last sign of the zodiac. So it represents almost this beginning chapter. And it's a water sign. It is very emotionally in touch with the world around them. And not only do we have a full moon in Pisces, but we also have Saturn retrograde in Pisces. And this has been calling us to reflect on how we are emotionally responsible. Are we taking care of ourselves? Are we being too sensitive? Are we having, do we need to honor our sensitivities more? This has been coming up for us with Saturn retrograde in Pisces. And we also have Neptune retrograde in Pisces. So we have a lot of retrograde energy in the sign of Pisces. And Neptune retrograde is specifically bringing us a sense of brain fog and having to reflect more on our unconscious mind and connect to our intuition. Again, noticing how sensitive we truly are. So all this retrograde energy in the sign of Pisces is really calling us to reflect and realize, you know what? I'm sensitive. And I know, let me tell you, I've been feeling that quite a lot and up until about like filming this video five seconds ago I didn't really process that and let, I wish someone had told me that sooner so <laughs> Neptune and Saturn retrograde in Pisces is calling us to realize yes we're sensitive and the full moon in Pisces is calling us to honor that sensitivity and release what no longer serves us this is a very emotional time and it can feel very heavy for a lot of us and the really the key here is to be fearless we have a lot coming out of our unconscious psyche, a lot coming out in our dreams, a lot coming out of our emotional and energetic body that is needing to be released in order to return to a state of greater wholeness. And it can feel very threatening. It can feel very scary, especially for those who don't have strong water energy, but just honor it, respect it, and allow yourself to be soft, sensitive, and release. If the energy still feels heavy, it's a call that you need to pay attention more and release more. This is a good full moon. I say every event truly is beneficial, whether it's challenging or light. But this super blue moon in the sign of Pisces on August 30th of 2023 is really, truly a final release for us before we step into September after having a whole month of release in August. So use this to your benefit. Don't be afraid. Allow yourself to be a human being rather than a human doing. Let go of the schedule. Just make time to heal, release, and be in return to wholeness. So if this video helped you understand what it means to have this full moon in Pisces coming up towards us and why it feels so heavy, let me know in those comments below. And while you're down there, be sure to book a reading with me and check out the free birth chart workbook and the Making Mindfulness Fun Bundle if you prefer to learn on your own and you want all the best resources on understanding yourself and your astrology. In the bundle, you get access to 31 different workbooks and courses for only $30. And that's less than $1 per course per workbook. So check it out in the link in the description below while I'm offering it for a limited time and grab it now. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sincerely hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos breaking down the stars. Once again, my name's Isabel, and from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you.